Every day is wonderful. I love it. I get up, make a list, think of the things I'm going to do, put myself at the bottom of the list, <laughs> and don't get there very often. <laughs> I think my birth brought me to this. I was a preemie, and I was very sick as a child. So I missed more school than I attended. But that was a blessing too, because I started reading, and I became a lifelong reader and grateful for every day. Every day is a gift. And as soon as I outgrew the pneumonia, I just started being asked to serve on this committee and do that and join my parents delivering Meals on Wheels and volunteering at the recycling center with my mom and dad on Saturdays and doing all sorts of things. And it just kept on going. I think it's in my DNA. I know she's involved in her church and she's been involved in the library. And she was part of several administrations in the governor's office for the budget. And she serve as an election judge for our elections. And there's just so many different roles that she serves in all areas. Just a true role model of what a model citizen should be to give back to the community. And I think that's absolutely in line with um, her early teachings at Carroll University. The most significant influence comes from the Religion in Life Week. It gave us an opportunity to look at what was happening in the world and how our faith applied to it. The contemplation of those issues, that has come up over and over and over again in my life. It, it changed my life. Of course, the 50s were the beginning of the Civil Rights Movement, so I volunteered to be a part of the March on Washington. And every night after work, I went to the office and volunteered my time organizing buses and planes and we sent five trainloads of people from Chicago to the March on Washington. The governor was generous enough to appoint me to the State Board of Public Education. That has been an enormous task in the last year. She's been an advocate for everybody in our community and teaching our youth and making sure they're getting a quality education. She served for both the legislative branch as a legislative fiscal analyst and as an assistant budget director. She was so knowledgeable about getting the resources properly allocated to the greatest need with the greatest impact for the state of Montana. She served on long-range planning. She was part of getting the renovation of this capital restored after it had been uh, neglected for um, a number of years and having it restored to its natural beauty outside of her career in public service. She's also just served in a number of different hats in our community. She serves for the Daughters of the American Revolution and she writes for the local paper, a column, and she serves as an election judge. And um, right now she's, she's helping me on my team with policy and just understanding all of the legislation that's coming through and how it impacts our elections. And she organizes and leads the way to make sure that we honor and celebrate our Constitution every year in the Capitol Rotunda. Well, the programs have gotten bigger and better every year so that um, the Helena Civic TV comes and so it gets broadcast all over the state. We're looking forward to expanding this Constitution contest with the youth starting on July 4th, 2026, which will be the 250th anniversary of America. I just live life to the fullest every single day because of my early childhood experiences. She is the most absolutely deserving individual of this award and it encompasses who she is and the life that she's lived from when she was young until even today, she is serving now more than ever. It encourages me to do more, and hopefully it encourages other people to see when they can use their talents and how they can use them.
Jane, thank you so much for everything that you've done. We all love you in Montana and we're here to cheer you on for this very deserving award. Thank you.